All right, so in this video, we're converting 5 sevenths to a decimal using long division. And that just means we're taking our numerator, which in this case is 5, right, 5 sevenths, and dividing that by the denominator, which is 7. Now, we can think of 7 going really into 50 here, and just kind of scale this down to make the problem a little bit easier. Just don't forget your 0 and decimal point. Don't lose track of that. Now, 7 goes into 50 7 times, and 7 times 7 is 49, and 50 minus 49 is 1. So notice I'm treating this like 50 and not like 49, and 50 minus 49 is 1, and I can do all that because I'm just kind of scaling down the actual multiplication itself. So really, I mean, really I'm thinking of 7 going into 5, 0.7 times, but it's much harder to think of. So instead we think 7 goes into 50 7 times, and really I'm subtracting 4.9 here, right? 7 times 0.7 is 4.9, but that uh, it makes it a little more difficult, right? We're thinking it was 49, scaling it up because proportionally um, you can think of those quotients and products. Okay, anyway, so 50 minus 49 is 1, and I can think, okay, well, 7 goes into 10, carry a 0, 1 time. 7 times 1 is 7, we subtract. 10 minus 7 is 3, and we just keep going with this process. 7 goes into 30 4 times because 7 times 4 is 28. 30 minus 28 is 2. Carry our 0 here and 7 goes into 20 2 times. 7 times 2 is 14. And 20 minus 14 is 6. Carry our 0 here. 7 goes into 60 8 times. 7 times 8 is 56. And 60 minus 56 is 4. Carry the 0 here, and 7 goes into 45 times. 7 times 5 is 35, and 40 minus 35 is 5. Now, if we think how many times does 7 go into 50, we get another 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. And notice that we are repeating the very first digit we had, right? So if you keep doing this, in fact, you will get another 7, and then a 1, and then a 4, then a 2, then an 8, then a 5, and so on, and so on, and so forth. So Right, this continues forever. You, and I want you, to, you should try it a couple of more times just to make sure it actually works out. But really, this means that five sevenths is equivalent to zero point seven one four two eight five repeating. And this is really cool, not only for itself that it has a um, these six digits repeating, but that the sevenths themselves. When we look at one, two, three, four, five, and six sevenths we can see a really awesome pattern. So there is a lot to get excited about with sevenths, so hang in there.